What's up guys, T-Mart here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic evening. Today, we are gonna be talking about the big news coming from Michael Condry. Now, last night, Nate Shot tweeted out, currently daydreaming about a potential ranked playlist in COD World War II. Now, uh, Matt, bro, you tweeted this at 9 o'clock p.m. California time. If you're daydreaming at 9 p.m., we gotta get your sleep schedule fixed. But uh, it doesn't matter, because Michael Condry took the bait, and he replied with a screenshot of our first ever look at the main menu in Call of Duty World War II. Now, it is worth noting that this is a work in progress. That's what hashtag WIP stands for. So by the time the game actually comes out, this could look entirely different. However, it still gives us a look into what they're kind of focusing on the multiplayer side of things this year. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys the, the image full screen and we're gonna brighten it up a little bit so you can read everything. Now, obviously the first box we have here is public match. Join an unranked public battle, choose to fight in a variety of modes and maps. Public matches we've seen in Call of Duty for 10 plus years, there's nothing to talk about there. The biggest thing to me on this image is that ranked match is the next option. Like it's front and center. It's not hidden within the public match menu. It's not, you know, off to the side or in any sub menus or anything like that. Like it is right front and center on that main screen, which is really, really cool. I don't think we've ever had that before. So, uh, I mean, Sledgehammer's always been very, very supportive of the competitive scene and of just, you know, playing Call of Duty on that next level. And uh, I'm really excited for that. I hope it's a really, really cool ranked play, ranked match, league play, whatever you want to call it. I hope we have a good system this year. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But it looks like it's going to be a major priority. And even in the public match box, you guys can see, it specifies public match as being unranked. We haven't even had that before. Like before, it was like public matches were the main thing, and then ranked play was just kind of its own little beast. But now it's like ranked plays there, and public match, it's not ranked. So like it, 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 it's I, I don't know I just I, I really like how they're they're kind of putting an emphasis on the ranked match section and uh, we should be in for a, a good year competitive wise hopefully we'll keep our fingers crossed now uh, next over to the right of that is custom match obviously we've had that before down in the bottom row we've got the daily mode so this sounds kind of interesting obviously a lot of things they could do here in terms of like daily contracts and challenges maybe you know different events like double XP for certain game modes each day and I. I I feel like Modern Warfare Remastered has had a lot of this year, this year with like, you know, different game modes coming in and all kinds of cool community events and stuff like that. So I'm sure that's where most of that stuff is gonna be taking place. To the right of that, we've got Last Played. Now, uh, this is another thing. I'm not quite sure what this could be. So part of me feels like it could be like a, a list of all your last played game modes. So like if you played TDM and then you played S&D, those would both show up in there. Or it could even be somewhat of like a, a scoreboard stats type deal. Like after you're out of that match, you're back at the main menu, you can look back at your last played game. I don't know. It could be one of those two things. Could be something else. If you guys have any ideas, feel free to leave them down below. And then finally, last but not least, down the bottom right, we've got Nazi Zombies. Now, this is pretty cool, and I'm hoping that the fact that Nazi Zombies is on this main screen means that you're able to switch from game mode to game mode seamlessly. So, like, you know, you have a party in multiplayer, you can go straight to a party in Zombies and vice versa. That would be pretty cool instead of, like, you know, backing out and kind of resetting the game from the main menu. So, uh, that's pretty cool. And then, obviously, down on the very, very bottom, you've got the options menu to head to the headquarters, which is where... A lot of stuff's gonna go down in terms of, you know, the all the, you know, 1v1s and the firing range and all kinds of stuff like that. So, I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time, but uh, I just want to mention this to you guys because I'm super excited about it. I mean, you guys know I love competitive Call of Duty. It's, like, it's always been a passion of mine. And honestly, especially, like, the last year or so, it's what's kept me going. My, like, desire and grind for public matches just hasn't been there. Obviously, that'll probably change this year if we have a really good game. But uh, still, competitive is where my heart is and I think it's gonna be cool to see it take such a big role this year and I think a lot more people are gonna try it they're probably gonna enjoy it and we could see a huge burst in the scene which is awesome so we'll see what happens but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna catch you guys later as more news comes out you guys better believe I'm gonna have videos up for you all we're only 26 days away from the beta 26 holy cow we're getting close so uh, thank you guys for watching peace out